Coming up next, it's a lightweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Dustin Poirier. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155 pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Both fighters are 31. Poirier is two inches taller. The reach is the same. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 28 wins, seven losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida, presenting the challenger, Dustin the Diamond. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon. Lee. All right, this is for the UFC Championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. comes here something special happens UFC 192 obviously an epic title fight between you and Alexander Gustafson UFC 166 one of the greatest fight cards of all time Houston's got another one in store tonight yes tonight you have a chance to make your own history we saw Melendez versus Sanchez me and Gustafson put on a show there Velasquez and Dos Santos put on a show there will you be remembered like we have at the Toyota show yes we did let the kick it tonight and it shows Oh, 
big powerful punch lands. Now it gets back to rain. And they separate. Oh! Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Beautiful hook. Beautiful strike. Nice counter jab up top by Poirier. Rock'em, suck him out of the suit here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well placed kick there by Lee. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, oh there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fighting your pick. Looking to land the right just out of range. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Now he counters with a right hook to the head. Oh. He's start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Lee gets caught with that punch. All right, to the former interim lightweight champ, Dustin Poirier, in a good striking flow here tonight, DC. That left hand nearly put his opponent out. Nearly puts him out, and you can't take many of them. Dustin's so big and physically strong for 155. I can't believe he used to fight at featherweight. He looks like he could never have made that weight. He's found his home at lightweight, but you can see the damage he can inflict with one strike. Do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Beautiful body kick. Looking to establish the jab here. Nicely done by Lee. Oh, yeah. on that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big punch man over the top. I was gonna follow this one. Just lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. He blocks the floor. is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. Poirier gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Watch the shot. Slips to avoid that left. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times, he's used this punch to get to the target. All right, single collar tie now. Lee gets hit with a flush uppercut there. Oh, big knee. How about those five minutes? All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
Oh, how good is that Fourier jab? He's got huge hands and certainly was able to find the home for his jab there. Oh, huge connection right there. He needs to get on the bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Lead left punch. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Boy, Thai Plump. Nice jab by Lee. Checks that leg kick. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. And they separate. Oh! Oh, straight right. And again. Oh! Just misses with the straight left hand. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. And he caught the kick. And they separate. Fourier's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice body kick. I mean, he's cutting down the side with this beautiful leg kick. Flips the punch. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Soften him up. Massive knee to the body. Oh! That was a jab. Oh, straight right. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice hook. Shot lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. So a combination of kicks from him, and most of those found the target, DC. The kickboxing is on point tonight. He's so sharp, and he feels so good that he's throwing multiple kicks in a row. Wow! Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get oh, him. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Gets up again here, but Hurton just missed on that spinning attack. Oh! It can't break your will. Powerful leg kick lands. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by a muscle. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Slips the left hand. Oh, a little oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Shot is blocked. Oh! Oh, straight right. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Seconds winding down in round two. Oh, he's there. 
great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. All right, so a big round for him there, DC. We'll go back and look at some of the highlights. Big knockdown for him. We'll see if he can follow it up. You could see that he was flowing. Everything was working in accordance to what he wanted it to be. And at the moment that it showed itself, the moment that the opportunity arrived, he jumped on it, got that big knockdown, and now he finds himself ahead in this fight. Ready? Ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, straight right. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. He's done, he's done. What a performance. Just the way he drew it up as he gets the knockout victory here tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So we'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. And there he is, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He's gonna like the sound of that. Big knockout for him to win the belt here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rigliano is going to stop this contest at 39 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Ruth the Dragon. All right, so there he is, the still undisputed UFC lightweight champion. And when you're taking on lightweight number one contender types and knocking them out like this, just scary to think just how high the ceiling is for this young man. Lightweight is the deepest division in the entire UFC. And if you can reign atop it like this young